Scrub. Zane. It was here in the square that I saw that strange Pokemon. I tried to leave town afterwards, and that's when those men came and grabbed me. We should be careful, even at the best of times, there's nothing normal about this town. Alright, so each of these guys, spoilers, have a respective shadow Pokemon that you're able to catch. Uh, Bayleaf's heart gauge is almost completely open, and it's about to relearn its last move. The second I send it out in the next battle, it'll be good to go. Um, so yeah, it's about you first. This is the dual. This is dual square. Where even crying kids know they'd better shut up. This is the dual square. Where even crying kids know they'd better shut up. This is where the roughnecks gather. So, how about it? How would you like to battle with me? Excellent. I like a man who can come to a quick decision. Let's have it out. It's time to duel. Ryder Nover. Nover, I'm sure it's a pun on fire. No, it's not. Alright, Nova's going to send out Lady B, Lady Ba, Lady Ba, Lady Ba and Noctowl. And wouldn't you know it, surprise, surprise, that Noctowl is a Shadow Pokemon. So, alright, see, I already got my move back, and it's Body Slam, so I'm going to try and take that Lady Ba right here, and hopefully get the para hats on that Noctowl over there. Wow, that ladybug is not going to go down without a fight. But it became confused. Alright, sweet. And Noctowl just used Hypnosis. Wow. Noctowl in particular is very, like... Alright, sweet, I got the Parahax. Noctowl is particular beefy, particular... Partic see, look! Particularly... Er... Particular... Particular... Particularly... Er... Particularly... Oh my god! It's quite odd that it has a high special defense and de defense. Not really good on the attack side, but is a good wall in some sort of, I guess, case. Oh my god, I cannot talk, guys. I am so sorry, particularly. See, I'm still trying to say it. Particularly, or pre. Alright, sweet, hyper mode. Put. Particularly, or particular, particular. It's not particularly, or it's particular. It's quite particular. Is is one-sided. It's quite peculiar. I'm getting those two words mixed up. English 101, guys. So Noctowl is still confused. Uh, I'm worried about that wing goal, so I'm gonna try and take that out. In one go, since Shadow Rush is now a critical hit. Ba boom! Critical hit. Wingle is down. Takes some recoil damage, but I'm completely fine with it. All right, so Noctowl is going to throw up a reflect. So offensive attacks are less effective. I'm going to call Bayleaf this turn, and I'm going to toss a Pokeball. Alright, snag ball out. Let's go. One, two, three. Gotcha. Noctel was caught. Player defeated Ryder Nova. Nova. You're saying I lost? I don't know if you know this. And if you weren't paying attention, but lost. <laughs> right. Th right then. I like your style. Here's a useful tip. If a Pokemon goes into hyper mode, it's likely its attacks more its attacks become more likely to do critical hits. What a surprise, huh? What a surprise, hey? No, it's what a, a surprise, eh? Why did the trainers here have those? Why did the trainers here have those strange Pokemon? I'm sure of it. 
the town's hiding a big secret. And let's talk to you. Oh, do you feel like sticking around for a demonstration of Pokemon moves? Good, good. I like your attitude. Feast your eyes on these. Flashes me. Oh. Street Performer Diogo. She's going to send out Flappy and Shroomish. Alright. Oh, and while also in Hyper Mode, Shadow Pokemon cannot use items, so you cannot heal them. Unless you hit a Pokemon Center. Alright, so Flappy's the Shadow Pokemon. Surprise, surprise. So we're going to call Bailey. No. Let's see if I can land a body slam on Flaffy and take that Shroomish out in one hit. Nope. Wish a no go. Uh oh. Ignored orders and attack the opposing trainer. Yeah, see, that's what they do. Alright, so Trim is just going to use Absorb, taking some HP from Bayleaf for no odd reason. So, I guess it's better off just to get him out of Hyper Mode so he doesn't sit there and try to keep attacking. Alright, so Bayleaf is almost. Heart Gauge is almost completely open. Sweet action. Alright, Confusion. Shroom is fainted. It's not very effective. Alright, so we're going to do Body Slam here. Even though Flaffy probably has a chance of having or a static for the ability. So, let's see if a body slam in a return won't knock it down to where it needs to be. And it was decent damage. And the body slam. Sweet, got the parahacks off. And I probably got the parahacks too, no? Alright, so my speed is going to be greatly decreased here. Which is no big deal. Bayleaf's turn, we're just going to throw a Pokeball and see where it goes. And we'll cast up a Reflect for no reason, because Shadow Rush is a physical attack. <clears throat> Alright. One. Two. Three. Oh, man. Paralyzed, cannot move. So, alright, Bayleaf, then we'll just use another Shadow, or use another Stag Ball in your turn. And we'll just have Espeon do a return, since it'll do minimal damage. One. Two. Damn. Interesting thing about Flappy 2, as soon as you open its heart gauge and it gains a level, it will evolve into... <sighs> It'll evolve into Ampharos, so, yeah. I'll we'll just call Espeon. Throw out the snack ball. Third time's the charm. One. Use Razor Leaf if we fail to catch it this turn. Razor Leaf will knock it down just a little bit more. Since Grass is not very effective against... Actually, no, it's normal damage. What am I talking about? There we go. Flappy was caught.
You outperformed me. I got 480 for winning. You're surprisingly good. I think you deserve to know a little bit... To know a little secret about a certain Pokemon move. Okay, I had to do something on my computer real quick. But that secret is the move Shadow Rush inflicts damage to of, on any kind of Pokemon without being affected by their types. So yes, it is neither super effective nor is neither super effective nor not very effective. The amount of damage doesn't vary with the target Pokemon's type, so it's easy to use. So in other words, just spam A. And if I recall correctly. Yeah, I'll just use Synthesis on Bayleaf's turn, so. If you try talking to anyone in Dual Square, there's only one answer. Ryder Liba would like to battle. Skip Loon and Oddish. And what you know, if the Pokemon with Black Aura is Skip Bloom, level 30. It's a flying grass type, an interesting mixture, if I do say so myself. It is downright probably one of the worst, um, one of the worst grass type Pokemon in the game. So, that actually is another reason why I went with, um, Bayleaf over here is because Bayleaf is a solid grass type and it has really good um, special defense and defense. Skip Bloom mainly focuses on special defense and speed, which I'm not too concerned with nor care about. So it's pretty useless to me. Okay, so she's gonna recoil. I'm gonna do a body slam on Skip Bloom. And I'm going to get rid of Dust Hawks. What I was saying about speed, Skip Bloom would last that turn. Hopefully, Dust Hawks does go down in one hit. And it didn't. Alright, so Body Slam hits. And we get off the Parahax again. Dude, I'm loving this. with A and thus Tox is just going to use Tackle. Okay, Bayleaf, let's do Body Slam one more time. Espeon, let's just do another Confusion. Probably wasn't necessary, I could just use the plane, but eh, whatever. Fun bit of XP right there. And Kaboom! Skip Bloom is unable to move because of the pair hacks. So, Pokeball time. Espeon. Let's just use a potion on your turn. I'm feeling kind of lucky. Alright. Here goes the snag ball. One. Two. Damn. Sleep powder. <laughs> oh shit, I meant to at least try to catch it. Oh well. Maybe I can get another Parahax. Nope, just gonna use another cotton spore. this for at least 30 minutes, dude. Come on. Not this battle, but just... Alright, one, two, three...
I'll just waste another Pokeball this turn and do a Body Slam on Skip Bloom. See if I can knock it down just a little more and get it in snag range, snaggable range. One, two, three. Ta da! Skip Bloom was sent to the PC. Oh, boo, I had to lose. And no, I will not be using Skip Bloom. Skip Bloom is shit tier. And yeah. Oh, that was an incredible battle. I simply love strong guys. That's L O V E. If you ever get the urge to battle with me again, I'll always be here for you, honey. <laughs> oh, God, yes. All right, huh? You want to battle me? Sure thing. Battle fans are always welcome. Battling fans. Guide to Vel. Bandana Guide to Vel. Sends out Quagsire and Psyduck. Alright, let's go with Bayleaf and Espeon. And wouldn't you know it, the Shadow Pokemon is Quagsire. This is an interesting Pokemon for it having both water and ground for its uh, um, type. So that makes it immune to lightning. Or electric, my bad. But the downside is, it is quite effective to uh, grass. So, yeah, definitely am not going to be trying to do the Razor Leaf this turn or at all this battle for risking of uh, knocking it out. And Sonic doesn't go down for me either. Wow, dude. Going to do the Disable, and Confusion is taken out. That's fine, Quagsire is just going to use Amnesia, build up its special defense. So I could actually probably do a Razor Leaf this turn, and I'm going to cast up a Reflect. Alright, here goes a Razor Leaf, hopefully this does not take out Quagsire. Okay, good. Quagsire is highly defensive and highly attack based, and... It's somewhat low on the special attack and defense scale, but it's still a good Pokemon. Um, definitely a good Pokemon if you want to have Surf right off the bat. And also, a quick note, since this is Gen Generation 3, Surf would have not done damage to his uh, uh, teammate. So... Yeah, um... It wouldn't have done damage to his teammate, so hit it and fix that until Gen 4, where Surf did damage to both you and your, uh, or not both you, but your, oh, are you serious, dude? Wow. Hold on, let me double check something right here, because I really, <laughs> really... <sighs> wow, that, that sucks. I think Razor Leaf does have a high chance of critical hit. And Vine Whip, no, it's Vine Whip that does. Yep, never mind. Okay, not Talon Flaffy. I'm just gonna go ahead and deposit you guys. I actually, let's see. I might use Flaffy. But that attack stat is so discouraging right now. And it does have static for the ability. Insomnia prevents sleep. And Chlorophyll raises speed and sunshine. So...
Nah, I don't think I'll use Flaffy right now. So, if I do want to, I'll just come back and pick up Flaffy.